savvy, or dog savvy cat. Yeah. Hey, you ready to work, girl? Yeah? Yes. All right, so we're gonna go back to some of our um, tricks we are working. Yes? I'm gonna just free her up, get it. Get it. Good, get it all. Riley, yes. Good girl, with me. So let's start with the weave. We wanna start in the with me. We wanna have hands and, or sorry, food in both hands. I'm gonna start lowering her to the middle of my leg and I'm gonna replace my hand. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Jet, no, lay down. Um, I'm gonna try to replace my hands as quick as possible. So between my legs, meet my hands together in the middle. Good. Good. Yes. And that time, I didn't actually give her any food because she just was showing me that she was ready for it. But for you guys, until we're at that point, it's going to be weak. Good. I gave her one piece of food. Gave her another piece of food. Oh, Levi. That's me. Good. Good. Yes. Nice job. Very good. And I want to think about how much food I have in my hands. And you notice right there, I had to reach in my pouch a little bit, which made it harder for me to make sure she was successful. So it would be more to my advantage to make sure I've got a good amount of treats. So each time I go through my legs, I can give her one little piece. And I kind of just like, I've got a handful and I just try to allow her to get one or two, just a few amounts. Ready? I dropped one that got her distracted. That's okay. We good. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes, there you go. So he was able to save that one a little bit. Good girl. With me. Weave. Yes. Weave. Yes. Weave. Yes. That was good. So there's that. That one will be easy for you guys to finalize. Um, and where I would do is I just try to fade out having to need help so much. So I may just kind of like weep and just point in between my legs. Good, yes. And slowly just tell I have nothing. Good job. Okay. Um, sit pretty was one that we had thought about, but come on, yes. But uh, she's a little tricky with it. I'm gonna just try for a couple seconds. My goal is that she kind of like sits on her haunches with her front feet up, but it's really hard for the dogs to kind of get this started Good girl. because we've done so much don't nip at my food in my hand so now we're asking for the direct opposite which we could do it just i don't think we'll do it in two days so i'm not even going to try to actually mess with that then we've got spin yes Good girl. oh and then the other one i was thinking of is roll over forgot about that which i think will be easy for her too so getting her into a down now we're kind of working because she's on the chill it makes this really easy and instead of using my like spatial pressure with my hand, which I may need to use as help, I'm gonna just use my, my food and I'm gonna bring her nose right into her chin. Yes! Oh my God, good girl! She knows that one. I forgot, I know, they must practice this. <laughs> or that big jackpot I gave it to her. Remember she did that once yesterday and then I rewarded her? All right, let's see it again. Yes! <laughs> good girl! Very good, get it. All right, so already I'm, I'm gonna start naming it once I know she's committed towards it. Rabby, or Riley, you ready? Down. All over. Yes. Oh my gosh. Get it. Get it. Riley. Now think about when you're doing this, she's a long haired dog. So if you've got a bunch of like nasty bristles, I wouldn't ask her to do this. Come here, girl. Down. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. There you go. So my help would be that my hand is gonna move itself to like her armpit. So right there, I tried to fade out my help, but I obviously needed it, so that's what made the correction for her. Roll over, whoop. And I want her to be a little bit straighter, so I'm gonna just break, break, come on. I'm gonna stand up, this will be easier. I really want her to go straight out. Roll over, yes, there you go. Very good. So how I'm moving myself is I'm really making sure I'm going straight in a line that way. Roll over. See, my hand's still right there because I want her to go as straight as possible. Good girl. Get it. What other trick? 
What other tricks can you do? Because you got those ones on lock. That was crazy. Yes. Good girl. Um. Bow. You bow. It'll just mess up their sound. Yeah. Let's go to the around. Because that wasn't a bad idea that you wanted to do that. Yeah. So Chelsea had started at the beginning and I stopped her just because I didn't know if it was going to be something that you guys were going to be able to do a lot. I think those other ones are intangible. But it's going around. How did you? You want to? Uh, yeah. Do you know which way you're going? I did go. Okay, come on. So, there's a lot of ways, so I just want to know what works for her. So, I'm going to just show her the food. Yes! Right when she gets on the outside of the cone, I'm going to mark it with the yes and reward her. So, I'm going to bring her over to my left side. We're going to do it always going the same direction. So, I want her to go from my with me side out and around. So, I'm going to go yes! Very good! Riley. Now I'm gonna just kind of hang here, see what she thinks about doing. Ready? Let me hold my hand out. Yes, very good. So the big thing about trick training is as much as help as we need, but as little as we can. So I'm trying to fade out as much help as I can through this because I've got a smart dog that's willing, right? Yes, good girl. And I don't think she realized what she was doing right there. She was really just smelling at the ground, but it still happened, so it's still fine to mark. Ready? Yes! Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna name it. So now when I see that she's committed, I'll put in the name, and then we'll work on this again later, and hopefully these will be there. Around, yes. Good girl. Good girl. Around, yes. And so she's she's not like she's got an active mind for sure, but obedience, no, down. Obedience definitely kind of takes out that activity in their mind of trying new things, and they wait for direction, which is what we want. So you see those moments where she's like, "I'm just waiting for you to tell me," because I'm not telling her anything because she doesn't yet know what the command is. There's a little bit of that. Um, that like hesitation, but she'll start figuring out when the moment she can be free and think on her own and when she needs to listen. Great, you ready to work? And you're ready to work is a very big cue of, all right, now you have a choice in this. What do you want to do? Ready to work? And it's up to me to reward it or not. Around, yes, very good. And I'm gonna end right there, because um, that was a lot. Good girl, so I'm gonna give her a big handful and then we'll try again later. I want to know if they've worked on rollover. Yeah. 